Hey, what's going on? This is Glendon Cameron, and I was reading this really interesting article this morning. Five toxic beliefs that ruin careers. You can just take career out and also put business. It's the same thing. Because typically, your career is the business of you that you do encapsulated in a company or the government or the military or whatever. But this is really, really interesting because when I thought about it, because I was looking at it, and this is something that really affects a lot of people. Number one, my self-worth is based on what others think of me. If you're trying to run a business and you're trying to keep what other people think of you as a forefront, you're going to run into some problems. What you're doing right now may not be properly received. It may not. People may think, oh, it's a little weird because, you know, take the story of Walmart. Walmart used to be a dirty name, not because they were taken over, but because we're like, oh, Walmart. Now, so just because right now that people are going, I don't know about that. If you allow people to punk you out. You may miss out on a good opportunity because you're worried about the wrong thing. You should be worried about your business. You should be worried about building it, your customers list. Because, you know, classic example of someone who doesn't really care what people think of him is Howard Stern. Biggest radio deal in history was like almost half a billion dollars. So you you really cannot get caught up in that. Number two, I love number two, my past equals my future. If I allowed my past to dictate my future, I would be in trouble. I would be like smoking crack or an alcoholic or some other thing. Because the thing is, everyone has a series of setbacks. Stuff happens. It happens. Some people go through more than others. And that, that ugly period, what I like to call when I was put out in Siberia, It happened. It was my life. I ended up homeless. I ended up living in a freaking boarding house. And I never said that this is where I'm going to be. One thing I noticed with other cats in the house, some people had accepted that's where they were going to be. There's like, this is what I'm going to do. And they made themselves very, very comfortable in that situation. I was always very uncomfortable in that situation, which was caused a lot of pain. But I'm glad I had that uncomfort because when you become very you accept bullshit it brings more bullshit into your life it's just a fact it's an immutable law of nature it brings more bullshit into your life now this i've talked about this in my webinars people in us hustler you know how i feel about it i do not i'm like george i'm with george carlin now if you're like super religious and this may be offensive i'm not trying to offend you but i don't believe that my whole life is controlled by an invisible force that has set this stuff out. And that's why I'm going through these trials and tribulations. What I believe is I went through that trials and tribulations because I made some dumbass decisions. When you take ownership of your pain, ownership of your experience, ownership of what you did, you can fix it. But long as it's destiny, it's faith, it's karma. Long as it's all this stuff, you're really trying to let yourself off the hook for fucking up. That's what you're trying to do. You're letting yourself off the hook for fucking up because I do believe in God, but I ha- I've had this thought process from a long time. When I was like 11, I was a nerdy little kid, read a lot of books, had a lot of opinions, read philosophy that what we need, we're born with. We have everything we need. We're born with it. And it's about grooming that and becoming the person, the best person you can be. When you become the best person, you're going to get different results versus once again, accepting bullshit or accepting mediocrity. And this is big. I've never accepted this premise and it's caused a lot of problems with some friends and families, but this is the reason I don't read horoscopes and other things. It's just, mm, if I'm going ahead and just saying that my life is on this predetermined script, what's the, what's the reason for trying it's what's going to be is what's going to be, right? So that's me. You know, if you disagree, go ahead, put some in the comments. But th- that's a huge one. It's huge. Like people like, God want me to win the lottery. Yeah, stuff like that. No, it's not happening. 
So, this is a one. This is more like gut check. My emotions accurately reflect objective reality. Some people believe that their emotions are caused by external events. In truth, though, emotions are determined by the perception of those events combined with preconceptions about what those events mean. And long story short, it's how you respond to an event. Like, be like, people can't make you mad. You choose to be mad. Someone can't, now someone can hurt you. If someone says something hurtful and you, you experience hurt, but how you react to that hurt, do you just say, okay, I'm hurt. You start building on it and you move on. Or you like, I'm going to get this motherfucker back or I got to stab his cat in the eye. You know, it, it's really how you respond. That is the big part of it. Not so much that the event happened. And I'm not talking about murder or some tragic life event. I'm talking about the regular stuff, because essentially, if you're the type of person, if someone can walk in the office and say one little innocuous thing to you that you don't like and your whole day is fucked up, this is for you. Number four is for you because essentially you allow stuff to come into your inner sandbox and build up and fuck up your whole day. That means that your happiness tank wasn't full to begin with because it was just like, here's a little bit of dirt, a little negative, don't. And your whole day's rocked or worse, your whole week or really bad. Your month. Something wrong with you, Joe This and Jill. There's something wrong with you. So essentially, you've got to learn how to be more emotionally mature, especially in business, especially in business. Because stuff's going to happen. And, you know, I've been guilty of like going off. And I was like, got to walk it back on down. Got to think about, all right, what's our goal here? Is our goal here to be pissed off, happy? Or is our goal to, you know, you, you got to really be objectifying what is most important. Here's another thing that's a problem. My goal is to be perfect or to do something perfectly. This is one of the biggest ways that people are not successful with their businesses. Biggest ways. Because, well, you'll hear stuff like, well, if it's not perfect, it's not worth doing. Or, No. You will make more money from fucking up than you will from trying to be perfect. Let me say that again for the people in the back, for the folks around the building. You will make more money from fucking up than you will be try, will from trying to be perfect. So you, you got to understand, the, like I said, this is five toxic beliefs that run careers, five toxic beliefs that run businesses. Same thing. Same thing. Because when people get caught up in this stuff, instead of looking at the business, they're, they're caught up and they're stuck and they're trapped on this stuff. And it's no good. It's just really, really no good. So, you know, just something for you to think about. And if you are not subscribed to Ink Magazine, you can just come up and get it for free online. Or you can go ahead and get the physical copy. I get both because I like turning pages. Dead trees excite me for some reason. They really do. Don't know why. All right. So if you hadn't got it, make sure that you get my free audio book, The Hustler's Mindset, Pimping Your Mind for Success. And uh, you'll definitely start changing your life today. All right. This is Glendon Cameron. I'll see you on the good side.